my dear students today we are starting the magnetism part 2 in your the earlier episode of the magnetism part 1 we came to know what is your the reason for which a substance is behaves as your the magnet and why the name is given as your the magnet that history we also discussed and when it to be your the magnetized what is the reason for which that substance is your the magnetized and regarding that we discussed your the two one is your the molecular theory of your the magnetism and second one is your the modern view of your the magnetism in the modern view of the magnetism we came to know that whenever a substance to be or the taken it must have its the molecules and it has its the atoms the atoms has the nucleus around the nucleus the electrons are moving when the electrons are moving either with it is the own energy or by giving some external energy the motion of the electron will constitute the current or produce the current whenever current is there it has its the magnetic field as we know that the magnetic effect of the current chapter in that chapter if a conductor to be taken and some current to be or the pass and if some magnetic dust to be or the thrown towards that conductor that dust will be or the remain over that conductor and if we take a magnetic needle towards that conductor that needle will give you the deflections and that type of the experiments shows that whenever a current is there there must be a magnetic field but here from the nature we obtained your the magnetic attractions and attraction comes means it is between your the two poles as per the property of your the mar magnet or your the magnet in the magnet the properties which we came to know one is it is the attractive property attractive one is it is the directive third one is your the uh, monopole never exist next one is like pole repel and unlike poles attract so one is your the repel another one is the attract so between your the two poles what are that two poles one is your the north another one is the south but in your the magnet not uh, the north pole or your the south pole they never to be or the exist in your the single way so north and the south they to be exist simultaneously means they never to be or the separated means you cannot separate your the south when the south to be or the taken towards the the north is automatically taken as we discuss suppose your the magnet is there this is your the north this is the south just i caught it and i wants to take the south to be or the out or i wants to take the north to be or the out suppose this portion to be or the taken means here automatically the south to be or the created and on the another side if this was the north means this is the south suppose this part i will to take means this south i am thinking that only the south pole i am taking but automatically the north pole to be or the exist there that we discussed in your the part one so the north and the south to be remain simultaneously means the monopole will never to be or the exist and between the poles suppose this is the one magnet and this is your the another magnet this is the north this is the south this may be north this may be or the south suppose this north to be or the taken means there will be a force between your the north and your the north suppose this is your the south between your the north and the south there will be a force and that force is your the attractive or your the repulsive we came to know so then the question comes if the force is there it must have its the magnitude so now the question is whenever we are discussing about your the magnetism 
and its creation is due to your the charge particle means the origin is of your the electron. Electron is the charge particle, but we know that the charge particle is of the two types one is your the positive and another one is the negative. And here also we came to know about your the two poles one is your the north pole another one is your the south pole. So, between your the plus charge and the minus charge or your the plus charge with plus charge or with minus charge with the minus charge there is a force of attraction or the repulsion. Here also between your the north with your the north between the south with the south or from your the north to your the south means between north and south or your the south and north there also a force and that force for your the charges was given by your the coulomb and that is known as your the coulomb's law of electrostatic and here between the north and the south there also a force of the attraction among the poles and that is your the coulomb's force and that is the coulomb's law of electrostatic electrostatic this is your the coulomb's law of magnetostatic magnetostatic so it is your the resembles between your the electrostatic and your the magnetostatic if i will give you the hints just you think over either you know about that or not between your the two charges there is a force Whenever a force will be there, then it will produce your the field. If the field is there, it must have its the intensity. Means, suppose a force is there that may be of your the 1 Newton, that may be of your the 100 Newton, that may be of your the 50 Newton. So, if that force will act upon you for the 1 Newton, what the anxiety you will feel or what type of the feeling you will just realize if the 100 Newton force will act on you, can you feel the that amount of your the feeling or the anxiety? It will be the more in its the magnitude. So, here also between your the two poles, the force that was also given by your the Coulomb that is your the Coulomb's force. Just I am just comparing. So, if the force is there, the intensity is there, and that intensity we said that Coulomb's intensity force or your the electrostatic intensity force, which is called your the EFI, electrostatic force of the intensity. Here also we will say your the MFI means magnetic force of your the electrostatic. So, likewise in between your the north and the south the force that is your the Coulomb's force in case of the electrostatic that force F is equals to K Q 1 Q 2 by your the R square. Means if the two charges are there Q 1 and Q 2. Uh, separated through a distance of the r, then the force is equal to this much. And here, for your the Coulomb's law of your the magnetostatic, the same force F means between your the two poles. Suppose this is your the bar magnet, this is your the one pole this is your the another pole. And in case of your the charges positive and your the negative for the polarity this is the north pole this is your the south pole. Suppose this is your the north this is your the south means if you will take for your the electrostatic this n means it will your the plus charge and this will your the minus charge. But here we are discussing for your the polarity. So, it is the north pole and it is the south pole say the distance between them is equal to your the r. So, in between the two poles there will be a force and that force was given by your the Coulomb and that force F is proportional to the product of their pole strength. And suppose this pole has your the pole strength of your the M 1 this is all for the M 2 likewise as I said 
q1 and you are the q2 if it is m1 and you are the f2 then f proportional the product of your the two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance for your the electrostatic you see f proportional q1 q2 product of their charges and here the product of your the pole strength and inversely proportional to the 1 by r square here also inversely proportional to the 1 by r square in some books you will have instead of the r that is the d or the whatever may the notation they will take but what notation will write here that notation is nothing but the distance between your the two poles then if we equalize that then f is equals to some constant of m1 m2 by your the r square likewise there f is equals to some constant q1 q2 by your the r square and here that constant is your the k there also the constant we have taken as your the k where k is known as your the proportionality constant k is known as your the proportionality constant you see on your the screen the coulomb's law of your the magnetism we have written the force of attraction or repulsion why the question is your the attraction or your the repulsion because as we know that the like poles to be your the attract and your the uh, like poles to be your the repel and the unlike poles to be your the attract so what the poles nature we do not know but whatever it may be it must have your the two poles so that two poles either of the same type then there will be repulsion of the opposite type there will be attraction hence it states that the force of attraction or repulsion between your the two poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strength and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them and for a magnet you may take or for the different magnets you may take suppose you will take for the different magnets as per your the diagram one magnets one end and another magnets it's the adjacent end that distance is your the r we have taken so from these two things you must have some idea that inside the magnet some force is existing and outside the magnet some force is existing that depends upon its circumstance if a magnet is taken no other magnetic material is outside of that one then the force is only due to its inside and if the magnet is there and another magnet is there then there is a force inside the magnet as well as of the outside the magnet we will discuss after some time so between that two poles if the distance is your the r then f is equals to this much for your the magnetostatic and f is equals to this much for your the electrostatic for the electrostatic this k is known as the proportionality constant this is also known as your the proportionality constant and that proportionality constant for your the electrostatic we have taken 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 and here it to be your the mu 0 by your the 4 pi and here what is epsilon 0 you know very well and what is the mu 0 that also you know very well because we discussed the value of your the mu 0 in your the magnetic effect of the current while we have discussed about the bio savart law so this mu 0 is known as your the permeability and this epsilon 0 is known as your the permittivity. This is the permeability, this is your the permittivity. And that two of the resembles, that is nothing but the response of that medium. Means the medium which we have taken, either in the electric region or in the magnetic region, according to that medium, how that force is your the behaving so that is it's the um, 
natures of your the medium that medium means either it is of your the vacuum or your the air it may be of the some other mediums like your the water liquid or the whatever may be the substance will it take so that thing will be discuss here so f is equals to mu 0 by 4 pi of m1 m2 by your the r square that is your the magnitude of your the coulomb's law of your the magnetostatic or coulomb's law for the magnetism force and here also this is your the electrostatic of your the force then the question comes what is the value of your the k here the value of a k is the mu 0 by 4 pi it further divided into your the two types one is of your the m k s 1 one is of your the c g s and the c g s is of your the here that is of the e m u but for your the m case that is your the mu 0 by 4 pi whose value is your the 10 to the power of minus 7 and if it is the 10 to the power of minus 7 then the value of the only mu 0 is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 you know very well about that one and in your the cgs system that cgs system for your the ar the value of your the k is your the 0 for cgs for your the air that is equals to your the 0 uh, not 0 that is equals to your the 1 and similarly for your the electrostatic that value of your the k for your the cgs if that medium is your the air or the vacuum then that is equals to your the 1 there also we have taken so for your the coulomb's law we came to know that f is equals to mu 0 by 4 pi m 1 m 2 by your the r square or very simply we will say f is equals to k m 1 m 2 by your the r square and where k is equals to your the mu 0 by 4 pi which is your the constant and that constant value is equals to your the 10 to the power of minus 7 we have taken suppose that is it is the magnitude but this is your the force force means it must have it is the vectorial form so let us now discuss it is the vector form so vector form of coulomb's force we have written f is equals to k q1 q2 by your the r square so if we will make it to be or the vector means left side to be or the vector the right side to be or the vector to make a thing to be or the vectorial form we have to take an it is the unit vector so if this will be or the f vector then we have to give any or the r cap there but for the magnitude only we have taken this is equals to f and there is no of your the r cap so for the vector form if this is the f vector then this is your the r cap r cap means for the unit vector so what a unit vector states if a vector can i erase it suppose the vector is equals to your the r or you have taken your the x is a vector then it is a unit vector will be the x cap x cap will be the x vector by x vector more means x vector by your the x similarly if this is equals to your the r cap means your r vector by your the r vector of your the more r vector means from where to where it brings your the source inside the magnet the direction from your the south pole to your the north pole suppose this is your the bar magnet this is your the north and this is the south the lines of force always starts from your the north and ends at your the south that we will discuss in your the magnetic lines of force and if you have drawn the practical for your the magnetic lines of force such type of the diagram you must have taken it starts from the north pole it will start from the north pole and it will end at the south pole means from the towards in the south it will be towards and from the north it will be the away and inside the magnet it is from your the south towards the north this is the difference between if the two charges to be are the taken this is the plus and this is the minus the lines of force from your the plus to your the minus from plus to your the minus 
from positive towards your the negative. But inside there is no flow only you are the outside one, but here inside from your the south to north and that one will used in your the magnetic dipole moment we will discuss that one. So, f is equals to this one then you can say f is equals to k q 1 q 2 by your the r square as per of the r cap r vector by your the r vector more r vector by your the r vector more. And if this is r vector mod, r vector mod is equal to the r, as I have written x vector mod is equal to x, r vector mod to be your the r. So, this r vector mod now it becomes your the r. So, this r with your the r square they are in the denominator and they to be multiplied and r square with the r will be your the r q. So, that is equal to k q 1 q 2 by r q of your the r cap and this is equal to your the vector form of your the Coulomb's law of your the magnetostatic. Similarly, if we we'll go for your the electrostatic, the magnitude portion is equal to your the this one and if we we'll make it to be your the vector, then that is equal to k q 1 q 2 by r q of your the r vector this is for your the electrostatic vectorial form, this is your the magnetostatic vectorial form. You look they are your the looks similar uh, for the Coulomb's force of the magnetostatic. Magnetostatic means this is your the m 1 m 2, this is your the m 1 m 2, this is for the magnetostatic, this is for your the electrostatic. So, this is your the Coulomb's law of your the magnetostatic mathematical expression with its the vectorial form. By taking these two expressions, now we will discuss some of its the problems. So, now we will discuss about your the problem. So, let us now come to your the figure. So, in the figure you see the vectorial form is given that f vector is equal to your the k of your the m 1 m 2 by your the r q. So, m k is equal to mu 0 by your the 4 pi. So, if you will take it is the vectorial form in your the magnetostatic let us now go for it is the uh, <coughs> numerical analysis. For the numerical analysis if you will take your the one or the two questions for the question number one. The question is when the pole of pole of one magnet when one pole of a magnet is five times of another separated with a distance separated with a distance of 10 centimeter the force is equal to the weight of 800 small m g m then calculate the pole strength. Calculate the pole strength, this is your the question. So, I said repeatedly, whenever a problem will come, you will go through your the 5 steps. The first step is your the go through the question, this is the question, you just read it 1, 2, 3 or the 4 times first one. Second one, what are provided you have to write. Third one, something must be the asking that you have to write. Fourth one, each and the every given data must be in your the same unit that to be or the put in your the mind. Each and the every data should be of the same unit. And the fifth one is the put the formula get the answer. So, now for your the step one that is your means you go through your the question. For the step 2, what are the given data? You just look 
one pole of a magnet is five times of the another. Means if one pole is of here the pole one, pole one, say is your the m, then the pole two, we are the five m. Pole two will be the five m. Then separated with a distance of other ten centimeter. Distance we have taken is your the r. So distance is your the r is equal to your the ten centimeter. Then what are this? The force is equals to the weight of your the eight hundred mgm. What is mgm? Milligram. Means this is your the mass. Due to the mass, the force which to be given. So the force which given by your the mass is nothing but its the weight. So here the mass is given that is equal to your the eight hundred small mgm. That is your the mass. Then the question is your the calculate your the pole strength. Means you go on through the question. What are given you have written? What are the provided? What are the asking you have written? So asking is your the pole strength. So pole strength. That pole strength we have to find is your the value of the m. If the m comes, then the second one will be is your the five m. Means one is your the m means the second pole is your the five m. So the pole strength will be your the m. We have to calculate that one. So we have taken the given data. These are the given data, and this is this co asking data. So after writing this one, first, second, third step is over. The fourth step, they must be in your the same unit. You just look what are the given data with its the values. This is your the R of your the ten centimeter. Centimeter means it is in your the CGS or due to your the magnetism. We will say that is your the EMU. That is your the ESU system here. For the mass, that is your the eight hundred milli gm. So gm and your the milli gm. What is the difference? Milli. Milli means it is the ten to the power of minus three. So ten to the power of minus three of your the gm. Means this is the CGS centimeter. This is the gram. That is also centimeter. So they are in your the same unit. Then the question comes to find your the required data. We have to put the formula. So what is the formula? You see, for the magnitude portion, the formula is F is equals to. To find the value, you have to go for your the formula. We know. F is equals to k m one m two by your the r square. If F is equals to k m one m two by r square, you see what are provided? R r is the distance provided. M one m two m one means one pole. We have taken as the small m and the another pole is your the five m. So the two poles are also here. K is your the proportionality constant. About that proportionality constant we discussed in the Coulomb's law. Either in the M K S or in your the C G S. So though this is in your the C G S, the value of the K is equal to the one. You confirm, and the F is there. F is what the force. Force is nothing but the weight. So here the force is nothing but the weight, and K is equal to your the one. Though we have taken in your the C G S, M one is equal to your the M. M two is equal to your the five M. R is equal to your the Ten, then that square. So W W means your the weight. So weight is given here. We know that W is equal to your the mg. So this is equal to your the mg of a five m square by your the hundred. So this m m means mass. You see the mass is given. Mass means m is equal to this one. So mass is given means how much? Eight hundred into 10 to the power of minus 3. This is equals to m, and g is the acceleration due to gravity. What is the acceleration due to gravity? That is equals to your the 9.8. You know, no student. This is the 9.8. 
which is your the meter per second square, but that meter per second square is not in your the CGS. I said repeatedly all the given data or the data which you have to apply, they must be of your the same unit. And if by chance or in mistake, you will put the value of G as the 9.8, then it will be wrong. And we have to put the value of G, no doubt, but that is in your the CGS. In CGS, that is equals to your the 980. Then this is equals to your the 5m square by your the 100. Means you this this what is the unknown value? Only unknown value that is equals to your the m square. Means m square is equals to 800 into 10 to the power of a minus 3 into 980 into 100 divided by your the 5. And if you will simplify this one, then this will give you the uh, nearly of your the 25.3 of the certain value. And that is the value of the m you will get. And if that value of the m, then it must have its the unit. Then what is the unit of the pole strength? Generally, the pole strength unit is your the ampere meter a m ampere meter, but this is not in your the ampere means in your the m case, meter means it is in your the m case, but it is in your the CGS. If you will take that value, then that will be your the converted to your the ampere per the meter, then it will give approximately of your the this value. And if this is the value of the m, means m is the one pole's magnitude. The question is what are its the pole strengths because a magnet never exists in your the monopole. So, for the another pole it is of the 5 times and you have to multiply it with that value with your the 5. Then you will get what are the pole strength of the 2. Are you clear to my students? These are the questions which are coming in your the council or in your the uh, CBSE patterns also. So, whatever may be that numerical, not only in the magnetism, not only in your the uh, electrostatic, in every part you will follow if that 5 steps, then it will help you too much. So, this is one of its the problem. Let us now, I am giving you the second one, the question 2. When two poles are separated through a distance of 5 centimeter produces a force of 144 dyne. What should be the distance between that two poles when the force produced is 16 dyne? Force produced is your the 16 dyne. This is your the question. Just you take a glimpse about that one. Go through the question. When the two poles are separated through a distance of your the 5 centimeter, means the distance between the two poles is your the 5 centimeters and have a force of your the attraction or the repulsion that is not given of the magnitude of your the 144 dyne. You see the force was your the 144 for the asking factor the force is your the 16 dyne means the force is your the reduces. So, what idea is coming to your the mind? What was the force between the two poles if that is 144 dyne if that two poles to be or the separated or what distance to be maintained so that that 144 to be or the 16. So, when the force to be or the reduce, then what should be the distance between them? The distance must be increased. 
because the force and the distance they are inversely proportional. So, the distance initially it was your the 5 centimeter for the force of 144, if it will be your the 16 means the answer should be what you are saying, but I am not audible uh, willing to that one, but the answer should be more than of your the 5. So, let us now solve it. So, for the solution. solution. Your f is equal to your the k m 1 m 2 by your the r square that we know. So, this f is equal to your the 144 is equal to your the k m 1 m 2 by your the distance, distance is your the 5. So, that is equal to your the 5 square that is equal to your the 25, but what happens for your the k? I said on your the earlier problem, this is in your the CGS 1, in the CGS the k value we are general taking that is equal to your the 1 or without taking that k value you may put your the this one is your the equation 1. But for the question what should be the distance between them, so that the force will be the 16 die. For, for the second part the force will be the 16 means f is equal to 16 for k m 1 m 2 by your the r square, then what that r square we have to find, the value of r we have to find and let this is equal to your the equation 2 and if we divide your the equation 1 and 2, you will get the value of the r. Let us now you find what is the value of your the r, if I will give you the some seconds for that one for equation 1 and your the equation 2. So, you can divide the equation 1 with your the 2 or your the 2 with your the 1, then you will get the answer. Suppose, you will go for your the dividing these two, means simply I am dividing here. Okay. Now, what happens? K k is your the cancel. So, here the uh, m 1 m 2 m 1 m 2 to be your the cancel then it is equal to 144 by your the 16 that is equal to r square will go up by your the 25. So, this r square will be 144 into 25 by your the 16, r square will be 144 into 25 by your the 16. So, only r will be it is the root over. So, it is root over means 144 root over is the 12 and this 25 is your the 5 and this is the 16 means your the 4, 4 with the 12 cancel and this is equal to your the 5 into 3 is equal to your the 15. Now, the r comes of your the 15. So, in which system we have taken? We have taken in your the CGS. So, that is equal to your the 15 centimeter. As I analyzed earlier when the value of the force being your the reduces, the distance must be your the increase. You see the earlier distance was your the 5, now the distance becomes your the 15. So, distance increases means the force 144 reduces to your the 16. So, if likewise questions will come, so you can solve that one. This is for your the analogy of your the electrostatic force with your the magnetostatic force for your the coulombs one. So, if a force will be there, then there must be a, a intensity. So, what is that intensity or what the region of that force will produce as we discussed that is your the electric field intensity and here also we will find the magnetic field intensity. So, what is the definition of the electric field intensity? The electric field intensity is nothing but the region up to which the force of influence due to that charge is existing. Instead of the charge, we are taking it as your the poles. So, due to the poles, what the influence it will exhibit that will known as it is the magnetic field. 
So, now we are discussing about your the magnetic field. Field means it is some region within that region whose influence will exist then that is known as the that type of the field. And though it is the magnetic field means influence due to your the magnet to be your the exist. And if the influence is there, it must have its the strength, and that is known as the magnetic field strength. That is your the magnetic field strength, and which we generally writing as your the symbol of your the B magnetic field strength. Like your the electric field strength, we have taken as your the E. So, E is equals to F by your the Q for the electrostatic. As I said, we just make the analogy of your the analysis. So, for the magnetostatic, that is equals to your the B vector will be your the F vector by your the unit north pole. Here it is the force experienced due to your the unit positive charge. And similarly, for the magnetic case, the magnetic field intensity will be your the force experienced due to unit north pole. But the question is, sir, you said earlier there is no existence of your the monopole. So, how you are saying that you can take your the unit north pole? And that unit north pole we have to take an imaginary by taking a compass needle. In case of the compass needle, this compass needle it has its the north and the south. To your the magnet, just you take the compass needle. As we have taken in your the practical classes. And if we take the compass needle here, where the north to be or the placed, you take that points. And from the south and you will take this one, from the north you will take your the this one, from the north it will the out and at the south it will be here. Means, if you will place a north pole to this north one, you will take the different positions. And likewise, if you will take and likewise you will take you will get your the likewise. Means, this is your the from north to south and this is the south and inside one that is from your the south to your the north. So, this is your the magnetic field strength for your the uh, uh, B vector is equal to your the F by M. The magnetic field strength as we have written B vector is equal to your the F by your the M. If we will take it see the magnitude. If you will take it say the magnitude, then B is equal to your the F by M. If B is equal to your the F by M, this F is nothing but K of your the M1 M2 by R square by your the M. And this is the one of the pole and these two are the poles. So, with the two poles, one of the pole will be the cancel and that will be your the k m by your the r square. This is your the magnitude of your the magnetic field intensity. As per the electric field intensity, E is equal to your the k q by your the r square. Just the resembles that is the k m by r square, this is your the k q by your the r square and this is the magnetic field intensity. While we have discussed the magnetic field intensity, we have gone for your the electric dipole there. There is your the electric dipole and here also we will find magnetic dipole. Electric dipole and your the magnetic dipole. So, what is your the electric dipole? Dia with your the pole. Here also dia with the pole. Dia means your the two. So, here the electric dipole means there will be your the two charges. For the magnetic dipole means there will be your the two poles. This is equals to your the Q1 Q2. So, this is your the M1 M2. 
So, dipole means if the two equal and the opposite charges separated through a distance then that is known as the electric dipole. For the magnetic dipole means two equal and opposite pole strengths separated through a distance. Suppose these are the two poles. If one is your the north pole, one is your the south pole. So, this north pole and the south pole they exist in a magnet. So, inside the magnet from the, the uh, force is coming from your the north to south. So, if it will come from your the north to your the south again from your the north to your the south inside that one that will go from your the south to your the north means inside your the dipole there will be your the some field and that is known as your the dipole moment that is your the dipole moment. If for the electric field then this is electric dipole moment for the magnetic one that is a magnetic dipole moment. For the magnetic dipole moment we will take the symbol as your the capital M and for the electric dipole moment we have taken the symbol as your the P. Magnetic uh, electric dipole moment we have taken the symbol as the P and here you have to taken the symbol as your the M and that M is defined as the product of here the product of here the magnitude of the pole strength with the distance of separation between them means if the pole this is the north pole and this is the south pole the distance between them is equal to your the 2L then the pole strength is your the M M into your the 2L but this dipole moment it is a vector and here also it will be the vector. So, if it will be the vector sir L is the length how you are saying that it is a vector means the dipole moment is directed from south pole to your the north pole. You see it is directed from the south pole to your the north pole means from south to north that distance is nothing but your the length and over that length it is directed means it is its the vectorial direction. So, we have taken that is the L vector in some books you will find the L vector, but here we have taken the 2 L vector only the difference is that this 2 L and that L is not your the different. This 2 L is the length between the two poles that 2 L is also the length between the two poles, but this 2 L is only taken for the calculation to be become your the easier. I will explain while we are go for your the magnetic field intensity for your the axial position and your the broadside on position at that case we will discuss that one. So, m vector you will be the this one this is it is the vectorial form, but in the magnitude this m is equal to your the 2 ml. If we will go for it is the unit dipole moment for your the unit. So, unit it depends upon it is the mathematical expression you see this is the m and this is the l you never think that ml means your the milliliter as we are saying 10, 10 ml 5 ml 20 ml this m l means m is your the pole strength l is the length. What is the unit of the pole strength we have second uh, said that is the ampere meter and it is the ampere meter for your the m and l is your the meter. So, this is equal to your the ampere into meter square if we will go for your the m case and for your the CGS if we will go then the ampere will be your the ab ampere and the meter will be your the centimeter. So, ab ampere into your the centimeter square, but mostly we are saying about your the ampere meter for your the pole strength and the meter for your the length therefore, in m case that is the ampere meter square this is the unit. Then what will this is the dimension? The dimension also depends upon it is the mathematical expression m means your the pole strength, pole strength is the ampere meter for the ampere you can take that is equal to your the a and for your the meter that is equal to l square. So, you can say that is equal to a l square, but you know that ampere i is equal to your the q by t and if the a this ampere will be your the a then this q will be your the capital Q then this your the t will be your the capital 
capital T, then this A can be written as your the Q by T, though this is your the A, this A can be written as your the Q by T. So, means Q T to the power of minus 1 and your the L square that is also it is the dimension, this is your the dipole moment. So, dipole and magnetic dipole and magnetic dipole moment, what is it is the direction of the dipole moment and in which you need to be measured we have calculated. If the dipole moment after discussing in your the electrostatic, we have gone to find the electric field intensity due to your the electric dipole at two different positions. So, for the electric field two different position, here also we will discuss for the magnetic field two different position. The first one is your the magnetic field intensity due to dipole. Magnetic field intensity due to your the dipole. That magnetic field intensity due to dipole is of the two types. One is your the end on position, and another one is your the broad side on position. This end on position is known as or this is known as axial position or this is known as tan A position. This is your the tan A position. Similarly, for the broad side on position or equatorial position, or perpendicular bisector position or tan B position. These are it is the different names. One is your the end on position, end on position, end, end on that end we will take a position that is the end on position which to be exist on your the axis of your the magnet. Therefore, the another name is it is the axial position and that also given the physical name as your the tan a position. Similarly, the broad side on position or it is the equilateral position or that is the perpendicular bisector position or your the tan b position. Regarding these two positions to find it is the magnetic field intensity we will discuss on your the next class. Thank you very much.